So we're here at the MIGO conference in Dublin looking around some of the demo areas and something that's caught my eye immediately is ICS which is, uh, as you can probably see from the car engine sitting on the desk here, something to do with the car demos, the IVI UX. So uh, let's talk to ICS and get a bit more information about what they're showing here. Hi. Hi, I'm uh, Justin Noel. I work for ICS, uh, North America's largest uh, cute consultancy partner. Uh, what we're here showing is uh, the types of things that we can do with uh, QML and uh, C++ combining them together to make really dynamic applications. This one happens to run on top of MIGO IVI 1.1. Right now, uh, MIGO EV does not have a... Uh, uh, a UX to really speak of, um, everyone writes sort of their own applications, they're working on the lower level. So, uh, what we have here is we have a, a suite of applications and some of them actually work. We started working on this in uh, Dev Days Munich and um, brought it to San Francisco and now it's here and I can show you some of the things we've done. This application was entirely written in uh, C++ and QML with a front end was actually designed all of these screens by one of our artists at ICS. And what he did was he used Photoshop to create these screens such as the radio or the dashboard. And he exported from Photoshop to QML where it takes each layer and makes it one item. So then I, as a programmer, write the C++ backend, I export variables, and then I bind variables to say the rotation of this needle item. Um, and since uh, QML has states and transitions built into the language, doing stuff with lists and different screens is extremely easy. Um, we also have a, uh, there's two states to this application, and there's actually five states in the master application where we can have, say, go to the radio application, we get smooth transitions. We could actually play the radio, um, switch stations, we only get one. Even that one's a little dodgy. And um, the key part here is that we develop this in only two weeks worth of work. And what happens is, is that since the designer is actually involved in the, um, uh, in the development, what we get from the designer is actual usable code. So the designer gets their vision immediately inside of the application that I as a C++ programmer are developing. Does that mean that you have a much more iterative design process and that it goes back and forth several times? Exactly. So I get to use actual work products from designers and artists, and if the artist wants to go back and change this, they can uh, would be qualified to open up the files, make changes, uh, do simple geometry type code, uh, but the back end is entirely in C++, so I can do what I'm good at, the designer can do what they're good at, and you end up something like this. So what, what was the um, original idea behind that system? What, what, what drove you to do that? Good question. So um, I'm a bit of a car nut as well as being a computer geek. So um, I, I met some of the guys uh, from the EV project and talked to them at Dev Days Munich. And I thought, wow, I really want to write an application. And I thought about writing you know, a radio or an MP3 player. And then I thought to myself, you know, I have a fuel injection system in my garage that I have yet to install on my 1981 Camaro. Why don't I just talk to that over the serial connection? And um, that's how it started. I uh, booted up uh, Amigo EV on my Lenovo, wrote some code, and it snowballed from there. And you're now simulating some of the car systems on here, on the sort of the, <laughs> the board here. Yeah, well, this is actually an open source uh, fuel injection system called Megasquirt. So um, if I actually, and this is an engine simulator, if I had the engine harness connected to this computer, it would actually fire my injectors and spark plugs. So this is an actual automotive ECU providing me this information. Can you show us on the screen how it works? Uh, from the, I can change values on the ECU, and you can see the sensor values change, and the needles move smoothly, they have a little bit of bounce at the end. And if we take a look at the sensor view, this is actually all the information I can get at one time. And we can look at the pulse width of the injectors, how long they're firing. And as we move the RPM up, you'll notice that as we accelerate and decelerate, we're having more and more pulse width. So just give us a bit of background on ICS and tell us uh, so what yes. services you offer. Um, so we are North America's largest Q consultancy um, company. Uh, we've been working with Qt for over 10 years now. 
Uh, we provide services everywhere that Qt's available, and Qt is now a major part of Migo, so we're doing a lot of Migo work. Uh, but we've written everything from stock and options trading applications to video phones to really fancy treadmills, all using Qt, and now we're using uh, QML. Uh, we've been in uh, business since 1988. We were large in the X Windows and Motif industries prior to getting on board with Qt, and um, that's uh, pretty much what we do.